the greatest show on water. And now, here's your master of ceremonies, Ron Linky. Thanks, Doc, and welcome, one and all, to the great Smoky Mountain Water Circus in our little town of Glitter Gulch. Out on the water, five of our town's lovely ladies, flags held high. Now, as they make their turn on the back side of the lake and come right back in front, each one of the girls will be tipping those flags. And it's just their way of saying howdy. Welcome to Glitter Gulch, and welcome to the 1986 Country Music Celebration. One more time, right in front, welcoming each and every one of you. All part of a celebration packed full of races, contests, and events, all leading up to one of the most sensational country music square dances that you will ever see. It's all American, it's all country, and it's all right here in Glitter Gulch, Tennessee. Now, we want you to feel free to join in today's celebration. In doing so, put your hands together as they water ski right up to stage. The lovely ladies of Glitter Gulch. this character out here in that boat, or that car, whatever that thing is, is none other than Sheriff Buford T. Fawcett. Now, he's been Sheriff of Glitter Gulch for what seems like more than 100 years, and every time we have our town celebration, why, well, he always gets a little bit aggravated about the goings on. He says there's far too much hooting and hollering, and far too much noise making, and far too much of just having a good old time. Tell you the truth, there's not one person in our little town who likes the old goat. <laughs> hey, that's right. Nobody likes me. And I'll tell you what. Because every all you town call hoppers come in here, hooting and hollering and cheering on, wanting to have your big country music celebration. But that's not all. You gotta have that big square egg way at next level. Well, there ain't gonna be no next. Hell, there ain't gonna be no celebration. Yeah, Buford, you better put a lid on it. Look at here, it says these guys are federal revenuers. That's right, we're the guys from the big house from Washington, D.C. We are the federal revenuers. We're on special assignment. We're undercover. Undercover for Pete's sakes, why? See, we got this report up in D.C. That's special agent talk for Washington, D.C., you know the capital? that someone in this town of Glen Gulch is running an illegal moonshine still. Illegal moonshine still? <laughs> That's impossible. You see, our town of Glen Gulch is a wholesome, clean town, wholesome to the heart. And you must be looking for uh, Gatlinburg. <laughs> well, that may be, but we're going to catch that culprit. When we do, we're going to put him behind the bars of justice for a long, long, long time. You for these fellas sound serious, maybe you ought to do something. Well, uh, maybe I can help you boys. See, I believe I know who that moonshine is. I do. It's probably that no good lower than a snake's belly and a wagon wheel rut of a firm in the barber. Nobody knows since Mom, Johnny Crash. Johnny Crash. Well, Sheriff, give yourselves a description of this guy. Well, first of all, he wears this big floppy hat. Big floppy hat. I get this down. And then he wears these big... Big floppy pants, that, that's three piece. And he's got the ugliest face you ever did see. Kind of a, kind of a homely looking guy. Like this guy out here? Yeah, kind of like that fella right there. Hey, that's him, that's Johnny Craig. That's him right there, I said, fellas, wait a minute, now run over to the jailhouse. Over to the jailhouse. Buford, you go on the water and round this guy up. Bring him on in. I, the folks, that guy out in the middle of the lake with the floppy hat and the floppy pants is none other than town clown Johnny Crash. Always getting himself into more hot water than he can handle. See, he's going to be in a real pressure cooker, but it turns out that he's running an illegal moonshine still. But I don't know how that could be, why that town clown doesn't have enough sense to tie his own shoelaces right, let alone run a moonshine still. The probably one thing he does have, though, are a couple of tricks up his sleeve to elude the long arm of the law. 
and a little help from his friends, the Johnny Crash Gang, washing old Buford right out of the water. As those two boats clear out to a dead end stop, our attention stays back this direction. The Yamaha Mastercraft jump team, jump boats, now line up to go over the inside ramp and through the wall of fire. Four of the very best boat drivers on the water for you today. Right now, let's meet the Yamaha Mastercraft Power Outboard Team in the safety boat today. This boat powered by 200 horses, the Yamaha Outboard Engine. Welcome its driver, Rusty McNabb. And the boys who took those boats up and over and through the wall of fire, meet John Schroeder and Michael Tolsman. Wait a minute, you can't go over the ramp, look out! Of course, you'll see town clown Johnny Crash out there all day, too. That is, unless, of course, the long arm of the law catches up with it. Now, it looks like Sierra Possum's rounding up not only that clown, but the whole gang. If you pretty, just make sure you stay out of the way. Right now, our two main inboards are lined up on a collision course. Precision boat handling at its finest. Around the ramps at 40 miles an hour. Now, these two get close enough to touch. Miles an hour combined impact speed, 454 cubic inches of Chevrolet engine powering these two beautiful boats. One more time to the back side of the lake, down to the far end, and then right back in front of us here today. These boat drivers in this tight fisted boat pattern welcome them to the waters of Lake Gatlinburg. The boat on the inside, professional water skier Bill Von Olin, and our number one stunt boat driver, Jeff Bradford. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is just a small sample of the excitement that is our town celebration. You know, it's fun to celebrate in this time of year. We're certainly glad that each and every one of you have decided to join in all the fun. Now, if you see something you like out there today, don't be afraid to put your hands together, make all the noise you want. That's what a town celebration's for. Right now, let's head over to where most of the festivities begin. And, of course, it's over on the town square. <laughs> is going on over there? Hey, pal, pal, you, hey, you in the overalls. Pick yourself up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, buddy, over here. What's in that jug? That jug behind your back. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Men and see too. You mean Tennessee moonshine. Are you out of your mind? There are federal revenues in town looking for an illegal moonshine still. And you best put that stuff down. Put it down. Thank you. No, not down your throat. Now spit it out. Spit. <laughs> Small batch of moonshine, I tell you what. Are you sure you can even walk a straight line? No, ski water. Ski water. the water are one ski and hillbilly, Craig Waller. A folks, you'll see a ski in a straight line is probably the last thing this fellow's got on his mind. You also come to find out that what he's going to do on that one ski takes a whole lot more talent. As he makes his turn, he comes right back in front, cutting back and forth from side to side, elbows nearly touching the water, and just look at that beautiful white spray. Now his ski goes into the back 40, and then comes right back out in front. He's going to do something that most folks call plum crazy. See, for this fella, it's no problem at all. You see, he's going to water ski all the way around that boat. Watch him close as he cuts to the left, skis to the front, right to the right, and back to the back. 360 degrees around the boat. Now, he's able to do that maneuver because of what stunt boat driver Jeff Bradford calls sending him on the whip. Well, we call it cracking the whip, and he's going to do it one more time from the back side of the lake, reaching speeds near 45 miles an hour, right up the stage. Our one ski and hillbilly, Craig Waller. Well, would you look over there on the town square? Sheriff Buford T. Fossum, what are you doing? Well, I'm just starting this here jail. <laughs> I can see that. I haven't seen a smile that big on that ugly mug of yours for so long. What are you so happy about? Johnny Crash? Yep. 
and the gang. And who's gal? What happened back there, Sheriff? Yeah. I'm sure, uh, yeah, I'm sure it was a sight to behold, Buford. I'm sure it was. You know what I was just thinking, though? I bet some of these folks might like to see some of the evidence. You know, like a real live, uh, uh, authentic moonshine still, and the jugs, and the book of formulas. Why don't you bring some of that evidence out here, Buford? Buford, you do have some evidence, don't you? Ran out of gas? Buford, is that the truth? Yes. Hush up. <laughs> I'm gonna turn Johnny Crash into Jack Oaks Coast better right here and get rid of every last one of them. What's the problem? Now, Sheriff, we all want this illegal moonshine still problem take care of as soon as possible. But you just can't go turning over law by tax fans. Like the, uh, I mean, uh, the citizens over to the federal revenue. You forget control of yourself. You gotta decide what you're gonna do with these three boys. Every time a man's faced with responsibilities and one of these pretty things walks in, oh, you can always expect trouble with a capital T. And Buford, uh, Buford, Sarah, I hate to interrupt you and all, but your three boys are getting away. It's too late now. These three fellas just running that sheriff around in circles. No, and I think that girl, why well, she must be a part of that gang. A diversionary tactic. Yep, diversionary the old sheriff right away from the town square. <laughs> so while he's off that way, these three boys are making a great escape out onto the lake. And right there they go. One, two, three. Sheriff, you done missed the boat. Shoot them and look out on the water! Buford, you blew him right out of his water skis. Well, there's still two more of them fellas out there. Trick shooting? Oh no, look out on the water! <laughs> that was some mighty fancy shooting there, Buford. There's still one more of them fellas out there. Better take care of him in your bare hands, huh? I didn't get an opportunity to see the sheriff at its finest. Yeah. Oh my gracious! You fired your pants! Don't look, little hearts on his BBDs, and he says, Don't look. Look out for the guy in the water! Oh my gracious. Town clown, I know. He's always in the middle of all this stuff that's going on. He says he's got an idea to get himself out of this mess. You better have a good idea, or otherwise you'll be in the jail for a long time. Well, with you look at there, got his own little shortcut fight. No towboat required, and a great escape for Johnny Crash. <laughs> oh, boy. In the days of the wild, wild west, trick riding was a very popular sport amongst the cowboys. And as a mini time celebration, right now we'd like to feature our two finest and fanciest trick riders. Watch as they come sliding from the town square out onto the water. Glitter Gulch's his own Mike Tolsman and Bill Von Olin. And you probably notice the water skis that these two are on are only 12 inches long. About the same size as a man's boot. But as they make their turn to the far side of the lake, they come right back in front while all their trick riding is going to be done on those tiny little skis. And the first set of tricks for these two is turning themselves all the way around. 360 turns, and right here comes number one. Count along with them to number two. Side by side to three. There's number four. Going strong to number five. And six, 360 turns. The 360 degree turns are generally performed on skis over 40 inches in length. And don't forget that these two are on skis only 12 inches long. And on this, their second pass, you watch them come right in front. Turn around backwards, put one.